Welcome to an Autodesk Alias 2021 Deep Dive video. In this video, I'll be discussing the new Align to Curve options. So let's get started. Align to Curve can be found under the subdivision command, subdiv align to curve. What the Align to Curve tool allows you to do is basically take a, any number of pick vertices and align them to a NURBS curve. By default, or previous versions of Alias, the only option we had was closest. And what the closest option did is it found the minimum distance between this curve and the original location. The minimum distance between any two objects in space is aligned perpendicular to both or one of those objects. So in this case, it simply snapped them all to the closest location. So if we undo that and I moved one of two of these vertexes over here and did that same alignment and align it to this curve, see, it doesn't really do anything to smooth those vertices out or to give them a, a uniform spacing or a controlled spacing. And also, if you look at the ends, I can't get it to go past here. And you can also get some crisscrossing and some things just a little problematic. So we've done quite a bit of enhancing to this tool. So let's check it out. If we do next here, and I want to align these vertices, align to curve, and I'm going to align them to this curve. Again, we have it set at closest. I'm just going to switch that to uniform spacing. Okay, so uniform spacing at arc length evenly distributes the vertices along the curve. Okay, and as I move with the partials um, arrow, so I can use a portion of this curve, notice how it keeps them kind of evenly spaced and they don't bunch together. This allows you to be able to use very long curves that might go down the entire body side, and we can align our sub D only to a portion of that curve. And the next feature that we have is a uh, parametric here. So just to be sure we're all um, um, understanding what par parametric means, let's, uh, let's take a little side journey over here and, and talk about parameter space on a curve. So when you create curves in Alias, you can create an edit point curve, and that curve can have knot spacing that's either chordal or uniform. I typically build in Bezier, so I like uniform. That way I know where the parameter is going to be in the curve. And here's what I mean by that. Here's a degree two curve uniform spacing, and here's a, another curve, degree two, same, uniform knot spacing. Both curves are identical. The curve on the left has even CV distribution, and the curve on the right has one control vertice that's biased towards the left side. Now, knot spacing or the parameter value on this curve goes from zero at the beginning to one at the end if it's a Bezier curve. Same for this curve, zero and one. But by taking that center vertice in the middle and biasing it to the left side, I've pushed parameter space over to that side. So the curve's parameter space is bunched up on this end. And an easy way to, to illustrate that for you is to use a command like the align command. And I'm just going to align this NURBS edge to this. Okay. And I've got partials on right now, but if we go over here and we go over here, you can see that I'm going from start value of zero to one, okay? And if I make this end value, if I drag it over here, as I get towards the middle of the curve, you can see I'm about 0.5. If I, if I just switch this to 0.5, we can be right at the, at the center of parameter space on that curve. I'm going to do the same thing to this next object. And it's again, zero one, right? So it's got the same parameter spacing. But if I drag this all the way over to where the end value says 0.5, you can see that I've got to get quite a bit further towards the left-hand side of this curve before I'm at 0.5 parameter space, okay? So not always, but typically a lot of users or a lot of modelers bias vertices towards there's where there's more curvature. Um, some companies don't do that. They move the vertices further and they have even, even distribution of the CVs, which would give 
even parameter value. But that's not really the point here. The point is just to understand what parameter value is, okay? So if we come down here now and I do another alignment, so I'm going to do a subdivision, subdiv align to curve. I'm going to grab these vertices and I'm going to align them to this curve. And instead of using arc length this time, I'm going to use parameter value. And if you look at parameter value here, it's really done a bit better of a job at approximate the, approximating the ori original shape. So if we look kind of down this curve and I just turn the controls off, this subdivision edge matches quite similar to this curve edge. If we look at this one, the subdivision edge does not match this very well. And if we look at this one, it's quite similar to this one, but even with poor CV distribution. So all of these new tools just simply allow you to be able to use a mixture of NURBS curve to, dis to drive the distribution of the CVs and to control feature lines, basically, without having to individually move vertices. Now, these are simple, you know, these are simple cases where we only have four or five vertices, but even then, it allows users to move a bunch of vertices controlled by a curve, and we can put a curvature comb on that curve. Not really necessary in this case, because we're not explicitly making the sub-D pass through the curve. We're only aligning the vertices. But here's kind of a, a workflow that, that I could see people implementing. So here we have a, a sub-D of a car. I'll just go into box mode here. And I've got I've got my car. And I could have a designer, maybe he's working on a, a new curve. Sometimes designers only like to work in curves instead of in full surface data. They can be faster. Um, and it's a little bit more challenging sometimes to develop complex surfaces. In this case, we have subdies. So they might be able to just modify this themselves. But here's how a, a, a user could control a feature line on a car. So I have this feature line. Maybe someone develops another curve that they'd like, they'd like that feature line to pass through, maybe a little more crown up in the front of this car. So I'm going to go to subdivision, align to curve, touch my sub D, CVs turn on. I'll grab this vertex, shift middle mouse button to chain select and I've got those vertices, I'm going to say align to curve, and I'm going to grab this new curve. All right, and my vertices align to that curve. All right, and right now they're going based on parameter space. I could do closest, and you can watch the CVs redistribute themselves. So we could look over here, and I could go back to uniform. I could go to arc length, closest, and there's just some opportunity here for you to have some controls on how those CVs are going to be distributed to get a nice layout and a controlled layout. And obviously, after I'm done, I could then use that curve and I could use any kind of modeling tool to modify that curve and change that feature line or move individual CVs either way. So those are the new options we've added to the subdiv align to curve tool. I hope they help you in your everyday work. Thanks for joining.